I'm a little nervous about how this is going to be perceived. I think I'm more nervous about the people that I know, what they're going to think about it. My name is Erin. I'm 25 years old and I'm a virgin. my associates in science and I have my bachelor's in health sciences and then I got a new job I work in a hospital so it's kind of taking up a lot of my time I'm going to be studying for my MCATs I've been known to finish a book in like two days one day <laughs> originally I chose to be a virgin because of upbringing and it kind of goes through phases it's like it's my idea you know, like, yeah, I'm gonna stick it out and wait till marriage is gonna be great. And other times, just because there's no one around. Like, I've waited this long, so I, I guess well, it's a few more years. I probably will wait until I'm married, or at least until I'm like really close. Maybe when I get engaged, maybe or something, or like when it's like where I know that marriage is like the end game. And I've talked to a lot of people that are you know, married and stuff like that. And they always say they wish they had, you know, would have waited. Being a virgin at 25 in 2015, like a lot of the times it's fine because I know all of the crazies out there and I know, you know, it may look like a guy, but they were born a girl or they may have an STD, you know, so I know the risk. And so I'm like, oh yeah, I'm good on that. And then other times it's really hard. I just try to keep myself as busy as possible so that way I don't think about it. I don't think I would be human if I didn't think about it. I get to the point sometimes where I think what is it that I'm waiting on? What is the purpose of this? And it gets really hard when you see other people a lot of times younger and they, they've they already done it. They have kids and stuff and it's like I want kids but what's, what is the point of waiting? Maybe I should just go out there and have me a baby and then I'll be fine. You know just get it over with. And then other times it's kind of like I just try to remember that good things come to those who wait. Things that probably prevent me from, you know, actually doing it. Probably my parents and, you know, religious reasons. You know, I, I wouldn't want God to be disappointed. Another thing I have to consider is setting an example for the people that are younger than me. You know, don't think that it's possible to get to my age and still be a virgin because they're, you know, they're tempted in high school and, you know, early years of college and stuff like that. And a lot of the times it's because I'm too scared to get an STD or get knocked up and get knocked off the, the, the path that I, you know, set for myself. Like I said before, I try to stay extremely busy and by being busy, I'm, you know, in school and at work. So, you know, I wouldn't want to get sidetracked with, you know, relationships and, you know, get knocked up or have to deal with the consequences of actually having, you know, premarital sex with somebody and then they just throw me down to the wayside. Then I get depressed and dropped out of school. I, I tend to overthink things. I think about every kind of scenario possible when I'm considering things. So when it comes to that, that's a pretty big step. That's a pretty big gift to give somebody. I'm scared that I would give it to somebody and then I end up looking like, you know, end up looking like a fool. My perception of guys, I think like all people, there are good ones and there are bad ones. It would be just my luck that I would find the bad ones. The guys that I'm normally surrounded with are like extremely great. My dad is the most amazing person like ever. He's like 6'4", but I've never seen him angry. He's a real gentle giant. I think I have a high expectation for whoever my person is going to be because I've seen how he is with my mom. And um, they've been married for, I think, 30, 31 years. My cousins, they're great guys. I'm not really out there like that to really deal with, you know, the bad guys. My ideal guy, first to love God, he will have to be able to get along with my family. They're really loving and really involved. And if he could deal with that, then I think he would be okay. Mentally ambitious. I would prefer not to be the doctor at work and he's at home playing video games. Nothing's wrong with playing video games. But after work, educated, able to hold a conversation, don't get there, there, and there incorrect. Saying you're beautiful, but you spell it Y-O-U-R, it's not good. I think I'm more attracted to bigger guys, like taller guys. When we're walking down the street, I would prefer people to look at us and they know for sure that you weigh more than me. Honestly, I don't really get approached like that. I've been told that I have a very um, intimidating look. I think I'm okay. I mean, I don't think I'm like horribly ugly, but I don't think I'm like, oh, look at, she's amazing. I probably do have some self-esteem issues. The fact that I don't get approached a lot, I don't know, it kind of does put a, a damper on things. It's like, well, what's wrong with me? I don't think I want to settle either because I've waited so long. So 
It's like, I hope there is like a fantastic prize at the end of all of this waiting. Running this long marathon and then I settle for some, somebody whack. I think I might have been born in the wrong era. Possibly. Guys are dirty. <laughs> they don't be smelling good. Then and some of them don't even brush their teeth. They're looking for something easy. And I guess my demeanor shows that I'm not easy. Some guys are kind of dirty. I'm not going to say all. Oh. I don't think my expectations are that high. I mean... My list wasn't even really that long. Being a virgin is difficult and you got all these urges and feelings and no way to express it. There's nobody there. It's just you by yourself trying to figure out things. And don't know any other person who waited till 25. So, you, you know, you just the only one. And they say, you know, keep waiting, keep waiting. And you like, well, you know, you, you didn't really wait. Kind of makes me wonder if there is even going to be anybody out there for me. If I'm just going to be, you know, just dying a virgin. <laughs> the reason why it's so difficult is the waiting part. And it's just like, there's nothing tangible that you can see that you're waiting for. So you just sitting there just waiting. It's just like you're in a room by yourself. You haven't seen anybody else go into that room before. And you just in the room by yourself waiting and waiting and waiting but I'm hoping I do have some fears actually getting rejected heartbroken or getting you know stepped on or pushed aside or something and then they go off and do something else I don't go out to clubs and bars and you know go out looking for somebody because if a guy were to approach me and I found him attractive I'm not even sure if I would know what to say because I've never like dated anybody but you know if you've grown enough to have sex and you should be grown enough to deal with the consequences afterwards I think there are ways of my strength. I think I will be okay. I think I will. I think I do have a, a really good future ahead and I've already thought about alternatives. Like if I, you know, if I never find anybody and never get married, then I'll probably just adopt or something like that. Make sure you visit AntonDaniels.com. And if you have any advice for me, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Thank you.